So <laughs> above the rim comes out, mm-hmm. does well. Mm-hmm. And then your next film is Remember the Titans, mm. where you're acting with Denzel Washington. Yeah. Did he did he have his Oscar by that time? Has his glory did glory already come out by that time? Oh yeah, yeah, Oscar already. Okay. And, well, after actually, what, after I did Above the Rim, I went back to school. Okay. Because I was I was a freshman. Remember, the school allowed me to to take the semester off and just come back, so I could finish the program without. So I still needed that. You know, it was like I still needed the comfort and of a structure around me. That's all school did to me. It gave me structure. Otherwise, I don't think I would make it. And it's not because of the education. Part of the education gave me confidence and knowledge. But the structure gave me um, a settled in place to, to live. Like, I've never been an artist who waited a table. I've never had a, a job. I've never had a job. That's deep. That wasn't in entertainment, you know. Yeah. Um, all your money came from All my money in my life. Well, uh, no, that's not completely true, okay? I've had money come from... Uh, I mean, when I was 17, I was a paper boy for 30 days. Right. right so that's but it. as an adult. <laughs> I mean, not a paper boy, a bag, bag and groceries at 15 right. and don't really count. But as an adult, no, I've not had any other that's great. source of. But it is great. But I think what it does is makes me a better artist because I've never had to worry about. I've had structure around me, man. Like I've had a home in, in the world of in, in show business. You understand? Because even getting into Yale gave me confidence. So when I did a movie with Tupac and them, I don't know what I know. You do not know what I know. Yeah. So I'm confident. Otherwise, even Denzel, even when I, there were other things before that movie. I had yeah. done The Siege. Okay. It was a small role. I had done As Good As It Gets. That got Oscars. Still another small role. Super small. You guys wouldn't even, hard to find me in those roles. Okay. But that was like some, some bread. It was helping me stay on my toes, you know. Um, uh, and then I, uh, again, I met Malcolm Lee, who has gone on to do Best Man and other movies. We met in college together, and we did, I did um, his film Morningside Prep. Shout out Malcolm Lee. Um, we did Morningside Prep, and it did wonders at the Pan Am Film Fest, Pan African Film Fest, uh, Film Festival. And we, he got a lot of notoriety from that. It really sort of like got the wheels spinning in his career, and it did some services for me too. I was able to get agents and, and things like that based on a student film. Not even, and I did that after Above the Rim. After okay. Above the Rim, you know, because I was just serious about grinding, bro. I just didn't care, like, I just wanna, I wanna, I want, I want this. I don't care, man, I'm not looking at nobody else. I don't care who you are, I don't care if it's the best actor. How is that the best actor? <laughs> I don't believe it, you know, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm probably ridiculously that way, you know. So when I got Remember the Titans, I was a bit later. Um, even Titans, yeah, Titans, um, yeah, working with Denzel was mesmerizing at first because, you know, it's Denzel. So that's a true story. I've been in so, I must be in mo- more true stories than any actor at this point because all of them are true, even the, even the Wire. So, you know, uh, you're dealing with a real person, so I met the real person. So I'm getting this education. I got this professional, the consummate professional Denzel Washington, who any black actor has been inspired by. Sure. Right? Especially at that time. Yeah. They would be lying if they said they weren't. Okay? I mean, I mean, the, would you say Denzel is the greatest living black male actor right now? No. Because I'm too competitive to say right, somebody's a yeah, better course. actor than I mean, aside from yourself. No, I mean, just saying I'm the greatest. I'm just, I just—I would say Denzel is the most successful. Hmm. Um, he is the most successful black actor now, and probably right. for years to come. You know, right. and not just monetarily. I think he's the most successful in, a, in an accomplished career of things he wanted to do. So, and I don't think he's the most, the best actor. I just think he's at the top of the food chain, and he sometimes has been the best. Sometimes. You know, and that's yeah. how it is. Because also the Samuel Jacksons and, you know, other great. Well, I remember for me, tit for tat at that time, it was like Lawrence Fishburne and Denzel Washington. Lawrence Fishburne, Lawrence Fishburne right. and Denzel Washington. <laughs> and Lawrence Fishburne has a depth in acting that Denzel, you, they, they're two different. It's almost Prince and Michael Jackson, in a sense. You know, they're, they're two different guys. Okay. You can love them both. <laughs> I could see that. 
you, you, you got something about one, they're different, and but they're both at a high level. And sure. I think Fishburne went off to, he's just a different type of artist. Uh, I had the pleasure of working with both of them. Now I did, um, last year I did a piece with Fishburne called Bronzeville with Lorenz Tate and um, mm. Mari Hardwick and uh, the Tate brothers, Lorenz and Laron Tate and Lawrence Fishburne and uh, it's a rich cast and um, just honored to meet some of these cats. But I do feel like uh, the best actor all the time. I never feel like I'm giving it up to. I mean, as you should. Yeah. As I do see should. great performances where I say, I wonder if I could do that. Idris in um, Mandela mm. is, uh, that's, a, that's a role that I think to myself, well, I don't know if I could do that. Um, Probably I could, though. <laughs> I probably could, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't think that there's a role like, you know. I feel you. It, it's not like I'm, I'm, you know, saving climate, you know, I'm helping, it's acting, you know. I'm pretty masterful at it at this yeah. point. It's been 20 years. I'm, so you do remember the Titans, mm -hmm. and then you do Jimi Hendrix? Yeah, Titans and then Hendri Hendrix, I think. Right. It, yeah, it was like that. It was Titans and then Hendrix, yeah, Jimi right. Hendrix. I mean, how, how thrilled were you to get the role of playing Jimi Hendrix in the first biopic on him? I was completely. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy <laughs> but Hendrix. I was scared in a sense where I feel like, well, it's a huge opportunity. And you don't want to do a disservice to this living, I mean, this uh, iconic uh, legend and the people alive and his family. I met those people. And the last thing you want to do in a biopic is like a disservice to the people, you know. And so I met his dad. Oh, okay. He's yeah, still alive. His, well, he, he's deceased now, but at yeah, the time, the time he was yeah. alive. And um, like I told you, I've had many organic experiences. You know, I had Jimi Hendrix was not on the radar for me because I'm a hip hop cat. I, I wasn't really a classic rock yeah. cat like that. Now I totally, I'm, I'm all music, but at the time it was just pretty much hip hop. And uh, Jimi Hendrix opened me up as an artist. And I'm very, very fortunate because I was born left handed. Jimi Hendrix was left handed guitar. Exactly. I was born yeah. left handed but raised right-handed. So, to be honest with you, I feel like Jimi Hendrix's experience just opened my, me up in such a way I can't really explain. I play guitar now left-handed. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I play guitar left-handed. Uh, yeah, I can get down, I can go just go do shows left-handed. <laughs> shows. That's what's left up. And I have, I went to the Viper Room. As soon as I learned the guitar, dog, I went to the Viper Room over there with, you know, yeah. famous Viper Room here right. in Los Angeles, and did a whole stage Perform. show, Balls okay. Out. Stage rocking with an acoustic plugged in, setting it up electric, and just seeing if I could, um, what it felt like to have people watch me do that. That's all, you know. Yeah. But yeah, Jimi Hendrix changed my life. 